We're here at the end of May and I thought this would be a great opportunity to do another update on our living wall and how it's filling out during the growing season. So I'm going to get into it here and as per usual with this whole series, please forgive the intense car sound. <laughs> Just on time. Uh, but that's part of the reason why we have the living wall. So here's some things that are really nice that are popping. We just put in some irises in the fall and I will say I'm just thrilled with how tolerant they are of road salts and junk from the road. They, they're flowering beautifully even with all this nastiness coming at them. And just on the inside of that is the comfrey doing beautifully. Just about ready to flower and provide some nice brows for the bees. I'm gonna pause because I can see a secret Sasha off in the distance and I think she has something to say, so hold on. The willows are filling in really intensely well, especially the ones that I pollarded this year. That's a really good lesson for me. The ones that I left untrimmed, they're growing really tall, which is great, I guess, but they're not filling in at the eye level where I'm hoping that they would have. In fact, so what I'm seeing is the ones that are really meeting our needs the best are the ones that I pollarded this year. Uh, makes sense, you know, right at eye level, it's now completely blocking light, which is great. And what's nice additionally is that by keeping them low, there's more light that can come to the next level to allow that to grow. So this is the western side of it. There's a couple gaps here, there, but overall I'm quite pleased with that and it just keeps on growing. On our eastern side, this is really, in my mind, the showstopper, and it's not quite at full force just yet. But um, what we've got here, for those of you that have been following the series, you know what's happening. But the miscanthus grass, which is this line right through, that is not up to full speed yet, but it's getting there. Some of the stalks are about three feet tall, so they're well on their way. By the end of the season, those will all be 14 feet, which is just stunning. The elderberries are really coming in this year. They're growing with a ton of vigor, and they're getting ready to actually put on a flower for the first time this year, so that's exciting. This other elder really growing by leaps and bounds, and I expect that it'll start to sucker and spread in here relatively soon as well. This is our giant perennial sunflower, Helianthus giganteus, which is getting three, four feet. It's basically keeping track with the miscanthus. I think they grow almost in parallel. It's kind of interesting to see. Uh, that'll be a really nice additional element here. This side is a little bit lean. I'm all right with it, but I think we need to design a little bit more. I'm not quite sure what it is about this side that keeps it sparse, but maybe some more hops is necessary or some other tree elements. And speaking of hops, you can see where the hops is really performing an incredible job in blocking light all the way up to the very top there. So zooming out here, we can see just how significant that hops is. It's all the way to the top of the fence and beyond by about 12 feet right now, really filling out. And let's look at this whole fence system from the inside. From the inside of our living fence, you can really start to see how significant the hops are in what they're doing. From this angle, I cannot see out to the road at all. And this is before the miscanthus really gets into its own. You can see a car just barely snuck through there. Um, so in the long run, a weavable fence with hops running up, it seems like a really rapid way to get some amazing coverage. This area I talked about in a recent video about growing crops in the chicken yard, and that's contributing to some of the blockage of the road as well. But really who we're waiting for is the, the main character, which is that miscanthus, and it's well on its way. It's kind of neat to just see every few weeks how much each of these elements are filling out. And this year I've added a whole lot more on the inside of elderberry, currants, cultivar willows, more of the giant sunflower. So there's even more layers on the inside. 
I would have gone with more layers on the outside as well, except we need to be able to see up and down the road safely and able to, uh, in order to be able to pull out of the driveway. But there you go, the living wall on its way to filling out to full capacity this year. I really do feel confident that by the fall, uh, we'll have a system where you will not see the road in any way, shape, or form through this thick layer of 60 plus different varieties of edible, useful, perennial, hardy, beautiful plants. We'll still get to hear the traffic, so that's always fun. Anyway, thanks for watching.